and here I present the solutions to weekly contest 308. The problem that I have chosen is longest subsequence with limited sum. So I'll be explaining you this question as well as the algorithm by the presentation. So let's quickly hop on to it. Example that was specified in the question. Using this example, I'll be explaining you the question first. So here in this question, we are given two arrays, one an array of integers, which is nums. It has numbers in it. In this case, the numbers are four, five, two, one. And there is a query array that is given to you. What you need to do, you need to pull out each query value from this array and you need to identify how many numbers up, how many maximum numbers will sum up together to give a value that is less than or equal to the query value. For example, in this case, the query's total sum that we are looking for is three. So how many numbers in total out of this nums array will give you a total sum of three? So here in this case, the answer would be two. If we add one and two together, we will get three. Three is less than equal to three. And the total number count would be two in this case. So the answer corresponding to the first entry would be two. Let's move on to the next one. And let me just change the color of pen. This time the target is of 10. So we are looking for the number of numbers that will sum up together to give the total sum as 10 or less than or equal to 10. It should not go beyond 10. So the numbers would be four, five and one. This is the first set. So four, five and one. So if you check, then four plus five is nine, nine plus one is 10. So the total number count comes as three. Or the second answer would have been four, two, one, because the number count still remains the same, which is three. And the total sum happens to be seven in that case. So both these solutions are acceptable because the number count is same. Let's do it for the next one that we have. The next one that we have happens to be 21. So uh, let's check how many numbers at max can be accommodated. So four, five, two and one, all these numbers could be easily accommodated. And the total sum would be equal to four plus five is nine, nine plus two is 11, 11 plus one is 12. So since 12 is less than 21, all the four numbers can be accommodated and the answer corresponding to this entry would be four. Now let's shoot for talking about the algorithm. The first and the foremost thing that I'm going to do is to sort this array up. Why am I am sorting this array? Because my target is to accommodate the maximum elements against the query value. And I'll want that those numbers that are lower in value should be treated first over the ones that have higher values. So after sorting, what do I get? I get one, two, four and five. Now along with it, what I'm going to do, the next step would be doing some pre-processing on this array and what kind of pre-processing I would be doing. I'll be creating a prefix sum out of it. So uh, let's go ahead and create it. Why, why am I doing it? I'll let you know while creating it up. So the first number that I have is one. So at one, what is the number count that I have? The number count is also one. So let's proceed ahead. The one plus two will give you three. Add three. What is the number of elements that have been added to get three? It is two. Let's proceed ahead. Next I have uh, four. Four plus three gives you seven. So the number of elements that have added up till seven turns out to be three. So let's store this information as well. The next element that I have is five. Five plus seven gives you 12. The number of elements that have, that have been added together to get 12 is Four. So using this, we have done a bit of pre-processing. We will be storing this information in a form of a tree map. So let's create the tree map and tree map would be of type integer comma integer where the key would be equal to the prefix sum that we have calculated and the value would be equal to the number of elements that have been added up to get that prefix sum. For example, the entries in the tree mat would be like 1 comma 1, 3 comma 2, 7 comma 3 and 14 comma 12 comma 4. And now our work is almost done. So let's take one example. So let's assume that we want to identify that particular entry from the tree map, which has a value less than or equal to three. So tree maps are in general sorted on the basis of keys. And here we have already stored prefix sum as part of the key value that means when I apply 
tree map dot float entry and i pass in 3 to it what it's gonna do it's gonna return that particular entry which has value less than or equal to 3 which would be this one and once i have that value i can fetch out the corresponding number of elements corresponding to that entry that will give me 2 as the answer and this is in sync with the expectation the time complexity for floor entry method happens to be equal to log n which makes it really efficient the other approach instead of using the tree map is to apply binary search and it works equally well over it let's proceed ahead the next entry that we have is 10 again we ask the tree map what is the lower entry less than or equal to 10 and that would come out to be 7 comma 3 we check look out for the corresponding value of that entry it will give us 3 as the answer so the answer corresponding to this entry becomes 3 let's proceed ahead next we have 21 again we ask the tree map what is an immediately lower maximum prefix sum that exists in the tree map lower than or equal to 21 it will turn out to be 12 and corresponding to 12 what is the number of elements value it is 4 so the answer corresponding to this turns out to be 4 with this we have concluded the entire algorithm and i'll be doing the exact same steps in the coding section as well so in order to conclude it fully let's quickly walk through it the first thing that i've done here is to sort the array moving ahead i've created the prefix sum and i've initialized prefix sum at the 0th index equals to nums at the 0th index value moving ahead at line number 7 i have created the tree map as i talked in the presentation as well i have put in the <coughs> first number or the prefix sum at 0th index into the tree map comma 1 1 because prefix sum at the 0th index corresponds to one number one element count let's proceed ahead next we have next i have iterated over the input array starting from the first index up till nums dot length and i have appropriately built in my prefix sum array uh, along with this i have added entries into my tree map and whatever prefix sum i have computed i pass in the value as i plus one and there will be no case of collision because the sum is always in an increasing order it's going to increase as we have more elements in the input array moving ahead at line number 14 i have created the answer array it would be equal to the number of elements that we have in queries dot length and we iterate over each and every query that we have we extract the corresponding floor entry with respect to that query and if that entry is not equal to null we extract its corresponding value which will give us the number of elements that have been used in order to achieve that particular sum and with each iteration we simply increment uh, the i pointer in the end we simply return the answer so let's try summiting it up accepted the time complexity of this approach would be equal to order of n log n n log n why because we are sorting the input array and the second thing that we are doing is creating this map so the number of elements that would be stored in this map would be equal to the number of numbers that we have in the input array and again we are doing some processing over here as well so uh, the overall complexity if i talk about including extracting the floor values from the map would be equal to n log n plus q log n i hope it makes sense to you as well and the space complexity would be equal to order of n with this let's wrap up today's session i hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel your subscription truly means a lot to me and i hope you thoroughly enjoyed this question up if you're looking for more solutions of the lead code weekly contest 308 those are mentioned in the description as well so do check them out